Dear friends, my name is Konstantin Schimmert and this is my conversation with Ronald Sanford, a.k.a. Ariel. As promised in my last episode, I will read you now a letter Ariel has sent to me about his court trial. Hello, what a wonderful unfolding of events that have transpired. This time has been in the making since this ordeal began with the terrible decisions I made all those years ago. Although I've thought about someday being free from this place, it has never been an actuality. Now it is. I think about the eventuality and I can only laugh because it seems so unreal, dreamlike even. In trying to be, bring this moment about, there has been a tremendous amount of effort put forth by some patient, diligent, hard-working individuals on my behalf. In fact, a great deal of the work they put in was not utilized due to how this ended. I was seeking a plea agreement from the prosecutor for 80 years to preclude having to go to court. But that didn't happen until after the first day of testimony in the mitigation hearing and then an offer was presented to us for 78 years time served and two years probation without any restriction on travel. Of course we accepted the offer. Ironically on 3-23-23, a day that has a palindrome, haha. <laughs> Nevertheless, the first day of testimony was such that my mother, the previous director of recreation here at the facility, as well as all of the members of my council, myself included, were all crying tears. And the next day, everything changed. Instead of presenting our second day of mitigation evidence, We were mulling over the offer, which didn't take me long to accept. This is what I was seeking prior to even being returned to court. Wow! Before we requested to have our hearing before the judge rather than the magistrate, we were facing someone who seemed to have an adversarial attitude towards my pleadings and actually ruled against my previous motion that was subsequently granted by the appeals of court. So the judge we went in front of for this hearing accepted all the evidence with the we had reviewed it on the flash drive. We submitted and took that information into account upon rendering her decision relative to my sentence once the agreement was accepted by both sides. The day of my sentencing was unusual to say the least. After my counsel presented the testimony as to how the judge should decide on the issue before the court, And I was allowed to read a statement to the court, which I won't divulge right now. The prosecutor essentially left the decision as to whether I would spend the two years of my community service years on house arrest, in work release, or on probation up to the judge. That was one of the surprises of the day. The others involved the judge tearing up as she rendered the sentence both sides and had agreed to on the record. 
As she finished up, she said she would like to do one more thing before she concluded the hearing. And she proceeded to come down from the bench, approached the table where I sat and shook my hand. Sure did. She said, as she did so, I commend you, Mr. Sanford. You've worked hard to change your life. Good luck. What? I couldn't believe it. Wow. So this is the letter of uh, Ariel and um, yeah, wonderful story. We will keep you updated. Please go on to support this case. Ariel will need our help. He will need our support. There is the GoFundMe account. You can donate some money for him or you can just share like and subscribe this podcast thank you very much take care and goodbye